Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Somaliland National Television English News Program. My name is Parhat Sheikh Habib and I'm here to update you with the latest of stories coming up the main news headlines. The Somaliland Minister of Information, Culture and National Guidance meets with his counterpart in Ethiopia. Alpha University in Hargeisa welcomes the freshmen of 2016. Telesom Company donates funds to Tegwachale Road Construction. Welcome back and now for the main news in detail. The Somaliland Minister of Information, Culture and National Guidance, Mr. Osman Abdullahi Sahardid, while in his trip accompanying with the President's delegation to Addis Ababa, has met with his Ethiopian counterpart, the Minister of Information. The two ministers have discussed about strengthening the cooperation of the two sides and in particular the collaboration of the two ministries. The two sides have reached a common understanding to develop a sense of teamwork that will improve the performance of the ministries by providing capacity building and training to the staff of the Somaliland Ministry of Information. On the other hand, Mr. Osman Abdullahi Sahardid, the Somaliland Minister of Information, Culture and National Guidance, visited the various sections of the Ministry of Information in Ethiopia and said that it was an important as it was aimed at familiarizing himself with the sections of the Ethiopian ministry so that he can learn lessons. The Minister of Information, Culture and National Guidance gave an interview to the various sections he visited and said. The, we are actually a delegation with which the, the President of Somalia uh, his Excellency uh, Ahmed Mohammed Mohammed Silanyu is, is leading and we are about six different ministers uh, and we did have a meeting with the Prime Minister mm -hmm. and the real reason is we had a good relationship. The, the two countries had one of the closest relationships in, with which any two countries could, ha could have mm -hmm. over the years since Somaliland has uh, took this independence back mm -hmm. from Somalia. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's about 26 years. Mm -hmm. And the this visit is, uh, is only one thing, is to bolster those relationships and make it, it has been strong, but just make it more stronger mm -hmm. for the two countries. And we have discussed with the Prime Minister, uh, His Excellency, uh, about different issues, mm -hmm. including security, mm -hmm. uh, development of economics for both countries, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people is by people is exchanged to have a good relationship. So, I mean, we have almost the same culture, mm -hmm. uh, just different languages. Oh, right. and, 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 but the most important issues with which we have uh, talked about, and you know, with we, the Somaliland is more famous for, mm -hmm. is we are a peaceful country. We are a very stable country. Mm -hmm. And the stability with which Somaliland has is beneficial to Ethiopia, mm -hmm. and for that matter, to the whole region. Uh, and to, for that matter, uh, if it is in the Horn, or for that matter, into Africa, and to the international community in general. Right. It's expected that the Ethiopian Minister of Information will arrive in Hargeisa to finalize the agreement reached by the two sides. It is, uh, like I said, there's very few countries in the world that have switched from standard to, to HD uh, these days. And we couldn't be more happier for EPA, C and Ethiopia for being one of the first. And it's not only uh, the HD technology, but that's where Ethiopia is becoming a leader of Africa. And for that matter, whether it's airlines or a lot of other stuff uh, 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 in the world, uh, Ethiopian Airlines is the premier airline in Africa. It's the, the, actually, the, the spirit of Africa is called 
uh, and EBC is, is leading in, te in telecommunication. And the reason we came here, uh, other than the president and him and the prime minister and other ministers talking about for me as the minister of information, culture and national guidance is to really <coughs> forge a relationship between the two ministers mm -hmm. and actually get more or less your expertise in video editing, in uh, cameraman and in uh, uh, a lot of different technologies with which you have, engineers, uh, 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 to, 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 to transfer uh, th that, that, that technical support should be, we're talking about and talk to the Minister of Information, Gitaju, to have that technical support transferred to, 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 to Somaliland. Uh, there and, and he has agreed upon and pretty soon we are uh, formulating a memorandum of understanding between the Minister of Communication, uh, as they say in Ethiopia, and the Minister of Information in Somaliland to have really a very close net relationship together that can take place in transfer of skills from each, from each side and, and, and make it as one, the two ministries, so as we have other different ministries that we have a close relationship with the defense or economic ties with the, the finance and a lot of different issues that's, that's out there. Hundreds of students, intellectuals, and many other wide array of dignitaries have assembled at Alva University in Hargeisa to attend a hospitable and welcoming ceremony for the registrants of the university in the year 2016. University officials have made keynote speech at the ceremony to welcome the freshmen of this year 2016. University president and other university officials were all there to welcome the newest members of the university as well as their families and friends to the campus. They told the freshmen that they are expected to become the leaders in their community and public services and as well capable of becoming fully competitive in all departments. Finally, they've suggested they connect their education to the broader world through service learning and be an advocate for their learning needs by working with their teachers to develop new learning opportunities. The Togwachale Development Committee alongside Telesom Company in Togwachale in a press conference today on Friday have briefed the public on amount of funds received from Telesom Company for the reconstruction of the Togwachale Road. Members of the Togwachale Development Committee stated that the Telesom Communication Company has donated an amount of fund that is to be 10,000 US dollars. The chairman of the committee praised the company's swift response to the call made by the committee to contribute the reconstruction of the road. They have also thanked the company for its generosity and prayed Almighty will reward it its good deeds. The committee have, on the other hand, urged other companies in Togwachale to contribute on their parts in rebuilding the unfinished road constructions. That brings us to the end of our English news program on Somaliland National Television. From me and the rest of the team, I leave you. Until then, Assalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته